<laughs> Welcome back. We are on to week three of our second session here at Lena Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Last week, Dave Barber with a decisive victory over Richie Myrick, 392 to 297. This week isn't going to be as, as easy. We have Josh Daly, who is probably one of the hottest bowlers going on right now. Yeah, we sure do. So let's, uh, let's get right to it. Let's bring in the bowlers. Dave Barber, come on up here, big guy. Dave Barber, congratulations on last week's victory over Richie Myrick. Uh, 392, great bowling. Uh, almost had the 400. Almost got the, the extra $100 in their pocket there. Yeah, yeah, just missed it by a little. Yeah, that last box wasn't very ideal, wasn't it? Uh, that pesky little uh, half Worcester there. That little guy. But you also you had $175 in bonus money, which is great, and adding on to whatever you know, bonus money you get today and winnings, and you got an extremely tough match. You know, Josh Daly, no one's uh, talked much about him. Can't talk enough about him. And uh, he's a fireball. What do you expect today? Well, he throws a great ball, puts up some big scores. It's going to be a tough match, but I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be exciting. Let's bring him on up. Come on. What's going on, Josh? How are we feeling today? Doing good. Ready to have some fun. Dave bowled really well in his first match. You're going to have a, a tall order here, but you've been bowling well yourself, so you've been warming up. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm just going to take a match with another, always. Just going to have fun. That's all you can do. Yep. Okay. Let's get to the match. Let's go. All right, Dave Barber starting off on lane 33. Dave Barber coming off an incredible performance last match. 397, 392, I'm 392, sorry. 392, yeah. 392. Very consistent 392. It was. I mean, to average 130 nowadays is pretty pretty awesome. Dave coming right back on the head pin. You know, he's got, he's definitely has a tough match today. Bowling against a number two seed, Josh Daly. Just missed on that one. I'm looking to get the 10 box here. And gets the 10. 10 box with Dave. Dave, a financial analyst from Peabody, Massachusetts. He's been bowling for 25 ish years. Yeah, he, he likes the word, or well, no, it's not really a word, but he likes to add ish into quite a few things. Great first ball again. Like that was an okay ish ball. That was a pretty bad-ish leave, though. Oh, he gives it a oh, shot, and he makes it. What a great shot. Cuts the five-ish pin over to the ten-ish pin. What a great shot. It well, was a tough to make. And here we are, the number two seed, Josh Daly. We're getting our first look at him. Fireball here out of Danvers, Massachusetts. Averaging about 124. High single 185, which... That ball that he throws, it's that, that's I'm, not going to last long. I'm actually shocked he hasn't broken the, the big 200 yet. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. As you see that Great one. Great first ball. It's uh, 5, 7, 9, 10. Boy, that's unfortunate for some. That's what we call it. Thank you very much. Man. Good effort there. Looking to get one, at least one. Again, Josh Daly, high single, 185. His high triple is 478. His high five is 732, and his high 10 is 1244. 1244. That, that's another. That's a number that won't stay for very long either. Sure won't. I mean, we don't have too many uh, 10 string events, but a 1224. That 1244. That might be uh, out of Central Park lanes, out of East Boston. I, I was about to say the last few 10 stringers that I've bowled have either been at Central Park or at Spare Time in Whitensville. <laughs> like I said, we don't have too many of those tournaments around. Yep. Which. There's a reason why <laughs> probably that's that's only where it is. Yep. Yeah, not much of those. You know, it's not like the we have the uh, WCBC Pro Tour anymore. Josh back on the head pin. Right through the middle. Blows out the guts. I mean, at this point, you're just you're just going three and three. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anytime you get a nine or ten box out of this, it's it's a good box after that first ball. Josh and really an eight box, still, I mean, not not a bad out out of that. Nope. It's a little tough start. He's got 15 after two, early five pin lead for Dave Barber, and mm -hmm. in counting. Going again, here we are at Lita Lanes, uh, right in Nashville, New Hampshire. And we'd like to thank Lexi, Matt, and all the staff here at Lita Lanes. You know, they're doing a great job for everything. Um, I can't say enough. You know, 
Kegwa's Den, great food. Phenomenal chicken fingers. Oh, the chicken oh. fingers are fantastic. Oh. Damn and, a, and a strike. Boom goes the dynamite. So looking to add to the di to the bonus money that he accrued the last match. $175 in bonus money in his match against Richie Myrick. Looking to add an extra $25 here. Looking for, ooh, just by the head, Ben. Still have yet to see a double strike today. I'd like to see some strike stuff flying around. I'm going to call it before before we leave at, at the end of the last taping. We're going to have a double. We're going to have a double. You heard it here first. It's a good seven, Phil. Looking to get uh, two or three out of this. And a oh. great 10 bucks. Yeah, the 57 through 4. You know, it's just like we said in the last match. When he's got the 2 on the right, the way his ball goes, it, it just sets up nicely for him. Although, what do I know? Because he just cut the 5 into the 10. <laughs> it's true. With the left or right ball. So, Josh Daly coming up in the third frame. Looking to try and answer early. You know, don't want to fall too far behind. No, and, and he hit the head pin the first two boxes, too. He and did. And there's not much you can change. Back on it Back again on with a strike. It. Boom, baby. You know, it just a lot of times I just explode when he's in the pocket. And then even when he's a little heavy on the head pin, he just throws a great ball and just breaks up a two on one split like you wouldn't believe. Look at that, Look at that working ball. So so much rotation. He's so So much rotation. He throws the ball hard without looking like he's throwing the ball hard. Yeah. Looks effortless. But it's probably going like 45 miles an hour down there. Squeaks by the head pin. Looking to pick this up for the 10. And it'll be a nine box. 43 through four. At least Josh got a mark there. Kind of stopped the bleeding a little bit. A little bit, yep. It's always good to get that first mark out of the way. Kind of eases the uh, the pressure a little yep. bit. Yep, it does. Once again, we have uh, Dave Barber up here. He is the number three seed in this ladder with a quali qualifying score of... And oh. he comes back with a strike of his own. What a great ball. He had a qualifying score of 681. For the three seed. For the number three seed. And Josh Dealey was a number two seed at 691. Ten pin difference there. Dave back right on the head back pin on again. It. A little heavy on the front one, leaving something that's not ideal Pleasant. to shoot at. Although this right here, I've seen him play these shots where you're just going by that wood and trying to make the two pin off the wall. Let's see if he tries that. Nah, I don't think he wanted to catch that wood. It's a good eight fill right there. Looking to get one of these. You know, it's nice to get one out of two every time. If yeah. you can get one out of two every time, you're, you're going to be cruising pretty nice. Good nine box from Dave right there. Yeah, because, I mean, it, it's, it's hard to stay in a groove, obviously, when you're going two boxes at a time. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. You go you go up, try to throw one. And especially switching lanes, too. Oh, you exactly. Know, you put one box on the left lane, and, you know, you could feel more comfortable in one lane. And, you know. That's where the mental aspect comes into play. Yep. Just, Just off the head pin, a good, good break. Good break. His side right here. He can get right in this 1 2 pocket. 1 2 4 in the 8. He's got the wood behind it, so it should help if he hits it nice. He's going to. A little heavy. Drive a little full. Good time box right box. there. Good time box. Josh Daly, 53 through 5. Uh, Josh has quite a bit of bowling. Oh, Friday night league. He's got a speed league at Academy Lanes on Tuesday nights. Uh, the once a month league at Exeter. Ah, he's young. He can handle all the bowling. Oh, boy. It's going to take a little toll on his shoulder. The little older he gets, you know? Yep. The power ball. You might have to throw lighter balls as he gets older so he can keep the ball in the lane. <laughs> By the time he hits 40, he'll be throwing two fives. <laughs> Four, that, that actually might be 25. <laughs> Oh, great first ball, although yeah, that's that's going to help out. Th that piece of wood. Maybe if you would have hit the five pin on the right side, it should that wood should help over. 
jump over for him. Just missed it. Oh, and he's going to steal gonna it. it. Steal it from behind. That's, uh, that gives them the 63 through 6. And Dave Barber is 84 through 6. We have a 21 pin lead, and we'll take a quick commercial break. Be right back. Dave stepping up for his seventh box here in the first string, sitting 84 after six. Right back on the head pin. Nice piece of wood. Yep. It's gonna come up nice and tight. The woods, it, it's nice and you, know, you, want, you want to make sure you're in the right spot. Like right above the red line should be just fine. Very true. A little low and dull. Oh, well, well, apparently a little low is okay for him. Yeah, he knew. He knew that was a scary one. He knew it right when he released it. Uh, there's a reason why he's averaging 126 right now. That sure is. A high single of 208, triple of 475, a high five of 771. Like you said, I mean, he threw a 680 to get on the show. Right back on the head pin. Trips off the seven pin. Nice seven, Phil. Big fantasy football uh, player. Can't confirm that uh, his son is five. We'll be turning six this year. And they, they love enjoying dinosaurs together. I was more of a shark kid as, 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 as a little kid. Oh, yeah. It's a nice 10 box by Dave. But dinosaurs are fun. Dinosaurs are fun. I yeah. love dinosaurs. Um, quite a bit of television appearances. About eight times on the Comcast show, five times on Candlepins for Dollars. Uh, a show that wish, I wish we had a longer run with that. I agree. I agree, and we get Josh Daly coming up. He works at a very phenomenal company called uh, Rochester Electronics, a uh, new great port. Very nice company. If anyone's looking for a job, we are hiring. Oh, so you get to see Josh on a daily basis. No, I sure don't. <laughs> daily <laughs> basis. <laughs> get it? Uh. <laughs> no, he works in a different building. I work in the uh, main warehouse, and he works in a different warehouse. Oh, no. Great oh bid, no. puts the ball where you're supposed to do it. And that's the funny thing about this game. Yep. Just came in a little heavy. Tough nine box there. He, he enjoys bowling, as you can tell. Uh, loves, loves to play video games. Enjoys golf in the summertime. And the normal YouTube and Netflix for the younger kids. I bet you he drives the ball pretty far. Uh, I, I would I would say yeah. I mean, I, I haven't played golf with him yet. Um, he doesn't play as much, so he, he enjoys playing when he can. Back on the front one. Yeah, that nice working ball. I mean, he's got he a, just, he's got some help there. There's a lot of help. I mean, for anyone else, that could be he could be looking at an extra three pins standing up. And he's he's, he's fortunate to trip out. He's got the extra. piece of wood in the back. Goes over and, it and takes it out. That's those a nice two shot. Those two pieces of wood in the back definitely. Yeah, it almost definitely, looked like it definitely helped go. him out there. It almost looked like it wasn't going to go at first. Actually, it was it was the front one. It kind of jumped over and took out that eight pin. We've got Dave Barber stepping up on lane 33, looking for a strong finish here. Twinkle toes away. Still ends up with eight drop and a piece of wood. Yep, yep. That's yeah. Again, this this piece of wood, you got to make sure you hit it in the right spot. I think. Uh, Pretty much right at it. It'll That's be just fine. I was about to say, just imagine it's not there. Yep. Oh, oh my. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Dave's not going to be too happy about that one. No. If, if I know him very well, I know uh, a ten he's got some choice words going on in his head, and um, he wish he could have that one back. So 121 through 9. So very, very consistent right now, you know. He's going to get to another 130, maybe even a 140. Make a tough one here. Yeah, this is an interesting one because I don't think that back piece of wood is going to cover the 10. Yeah, I don't think so either. This could be one of those shots where if he cuts it over, that wood may stop it from hitting the 10 pin. That's and yeah, this, this this is one of those. Oh, almost made it the, the fancy way. 
Yeah, that, that was that was my thought too. Where yeah, you could pay, play that back pin, and you'll get the corner, but you're not gonna get the not gonna get the two pin. Right. Yep. That's a nice time box, Dave. One thirty one for first string. It's a good start for Dave Barber right there. We got Josh Daly coming up, working on a fill. 89 through 8. Looking to chop down some of this lead and get, try and gain some momentum into the second game here. You know, Josh Daly, he's got a lot of uh, youth accomplishments. A lot of stuff here. You know, Did he write on the back page? He, he may have. <laughs> I don't even know where it begins. Just off the head pin a little bit. There's five on the fill. You got the one, three, six, seven, eight. Looks like uh, he, he did a lot of candle pin for kids bowling in the, uh, the candle pin for kids new generation that um, Robbie Taylor was doing a great job with. Um, him, Billy Bloom, and a few others that I can't think of the top of my head. But they were trying to keep the candle pin for kids thing going as well. Uh, uh, Dan Gothier. Dan, that's right, Shoe Gothier, yep. Um, you know, they were doing a great job. They were doing a lot of traveling. You know, they were trying to keep it going for the kids, just like Steve Reno was doing. And unfortunately, that's kind of uh, well down a little bit. But a few records here. And he bowled on uh, the New, New England Candlepins here. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, he's, he's bowled on New England Candlepins. It looks like he has a, a show record of a 173. Yeah, I believe he bowled that against Mike Nardone. That was in the quarterfinals? I believe it's in the quarterfinals, the second round match. Wow. Josh just by the head pin. It's not happy Looking to get one or two. Opened. Yep. It's a tough first string for Josh. Eight box for 110, so it's an early 21 pin lead for Dave Barber. And uh, we'll, um, we'll conclude that and we'll get back to the second string in just a moment. All right, we're back for string number two. We got Josh Daly on a 21 pin deficit. Looking to start it off early. Nothing a couple marks can't put a dent in. Yeah, if he comes out firing these two boxes right here, he's just trying to settle down a little bit. You know, he's letting a couple balls get away from him. He's a trying, you know, just throw and forget. Throw and forget. That's a big thing about bowling too. You know, you you lose focus really quick and. Short term, short term memory. You need the short term memory. It's just like playing golf. You have one bad shot, you, know, you need to learn how to forget it and move on. Daily just by. Looking to clean up here. Yep, Josh. A ton of youth events 2016, ICBA champ, uh, 2018, youth international champ. Um, I mean, let's talk about his 2021. I mean, yeah. a world singles champion. Yep. Uh, or, or invitational singles champion, whatever you want to call it. Yep. Uh, he, he actually he was he on the championship the, team. He, yep, he was what they call the triple crown. He had he, high average for the tournament, correct? He had high average. Well, not the triple crown, but because uh, he would have had the high triple or high two string right. total. But he, he won the singles, he had high average, and his team won the tournament. And to do that is pretty incredible. To have the stamina that he has throwing such a hard ball for the whole week. It's absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Add on to his 2021, he was the ICBA champion. Oh, that's right, yes. Um, out of, where did they bowl that? Was that Big 20? Yeah, that would be in uh, Sanford, Maine, I believe it was. Uh, Scarborough. Scarborough, man, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Sanford, I believe, is Bolarama. Correct, yes. I correct me. Tough seven box for, D for Josh, 16 through 2. Dave Barber stepping up. Look Dave, at, look Dave at Barber, job. world champion himself. He sure is. 2016. Plenty of accomplishments for Dave Barber as well. I mean, six pro tour titles. I think he's got uh, obviously, I mean, the, the, the pinnacle is winning the worlds. I mean, the guys that were on, I mean, you were on his team, but you, yourself, Jeff Surratt, Sean Baker, Chris yeah. Bover, Jonathan Boudreaux, Eric Pelletier, Sean McKinley. I mean... Nice shot by Dave right there. Looking to jump on this uh, open boxes that Daly had in the first two. Dave's just looking very comfortable right now. He's just throwing a nice smooth ball and everything's mixing. His first ball's in there. 
And then, just so when I say, everything's mixing. <laughs> he leaves the 5, 7, 10. So that piece of wood it's looks like it's wood. good. Might want to get that one checked. Uh, I, th I think it's in, but somebody might want, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll get it checked real quick. So once Al's done, we'll get this show started back tomorrow. <laughs> no, it looks good. Yeah, Alfie. That's, uh, that, that's, that's what I thought. Yeah. Again, can't say enough about Al Johnson. I mean, we can sit here and talk about him all day long. And I mean, his bowling ability. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, you know, I th he may have been part of the, uh, I don't know if he has any world's titles. I'm not 100% sure. I don't quite remember. Oh, what a bid by Barber. Dave plays it. Plays the wood that was out. So I can't confirm. He, he does at least have one world's title. He, he I, I have to assume he has like a couple of them. I mean, he was a... Talk about one of the dynamite bowlers back in the day. You know, Jackie Ray and Bobby Kelly and Peter Flynn. I mean, he th uh, threw a 467 on Channel 5. Yep. Unfortunately, that was the season it got canceled, so... He didn't didn't quite make it to the live show. Yep, unfortunately. Josh Daly coming up. And Back on the end. front one. Two and Not two. Not much to give. Looking to try and make one and get himself going. This would be a nice one to make. Outside. He'll get two. Looking to clean this up for a ten. But yeah, just to to talk more on Alfie and what he's doing for this game. I mean, he put this show together based off his Candlepins for Cancer charity. It it supports their bowlers, their families, anyone close to the bowling community fighting cancer who needs help, paying for treatment, paying for bills. Uh, charity's given well over twelve thousand dollars to people that do need it. You can donate electronically through uh, the new website that's being being made up yep. at candlepinsforcancer.com you can donate by check you can mail in a check to 467 High Street number 8 Hampton, New Hampshire 03842 just I mean give what you can yep except any kind of donations any amount um, you know if you ever go to a bowling alley you may see some pins that say Candlepin for Cancer on it You're more than welcome to throw in a few dollars here a few dollars there and you know, again, it's all going to a great cause. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Absolutely. I mean, I've I've had family affected by the horrible disease. I have friends that have been affected by it. I mean, it it's 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 tough, and it's nice to see that Alfie's somebody that's that's looking out for everybody. Absolutely. I mean, just just a great guy. You know, taking his own personal time to get this stuff going you know goes with the crew here too you know Frank DeLuca is doing a great job Brandon's doing a great job they do a ton of time of editing and making sure we have the best quality for everyone to watch everything is just you just can't say enough you know guys like you taking time away from your family and coming here and doing this and Dave with a tough seven box here you know it's it's a great thing yeah. And and the bowling community needs each other to, to help keep keep the game going. Absolutely, nice ball right there on the strike for Dave Barber. Absolutely, the bowling community we need we definitely need to stick together in times like this. Um, it's not like how it was back in the day. You know, there used to be some serious enemies back then. I've heard a lot yeah. of stories, and now with everything kind of dying down, and you know, we we need to stick together. Yeah, we we can't we can't afford to to have those kind of. Feelings. I mean, exactly. I mean, you'll ha you have bowling rivals, but it yeah. we're in the, at the end of the day, we're all friends. Exactly. We all we all want to bowl great and have great matches. You know, we want to keep everything entertaining. Josh with some tough wood out in front. And if you're listening, you know, the next TV taping, if you're not doing anything that day, please come down and support. Oh, Josh, no luck there. Please yeah. come down and support. You know, we need uh, as much audience as we can we need as, as much support as possible you know yeah I mean the bowlers feed off the crowd mm -hmm. absolutely 
you know, we, you and I, you know, we've both both on TV, and we know what that crowd can do. You know, and they can actually settle you down. They can. They can. They absolutely. I remember my very first time. I bowled on these two lanes, and there was I forget her name, but she told me to think of her as my grandmother. And throughout the whole match, she was talking to me throughout the whole time, and no idea who this woman was, but it was <laughs> like I felt at home. Yep. Yep, it's nice. It's nice when you get those random people that know you and, you know, they want to see you do good. Josh with a good bit at the Kaleri. Josh, the tough four time. And the seven. Yeah, tough I time finding the rhythm right now. You know, that, that happens. You, you, you start bowling really great and you have a great year and, you know, sometimes things just don't turn out the way you want it and there's still a lot of bowling left right now. There's still a lot of bowling. There's a long way to go. Yep. Josh with an eight box puts him at 52 through six. You know, he, he puts together one of those 173s that he put on New England candle pins. Yeah. You never yeah. know. Yeah, he starts throwing some in a row against Dave, and you know, and all of a sudden, the biggest yep. thing Dave needs to do is try and answer back. But he's looking to capitalize on a few opens here. It's a triangle on the left side. Got the two, the four, and the five. It's a seven up. Oh, he's on a strike. Just missed. It's an eight field for Dave on the strike. Again, uh, Dave's all-time favorite bowler, Chi Chi Contreras. He's a phenomenal guy. Really nice guy. I, I've heard. I hope to one day meet him. Yeah, me too. Me too. Dave with a nine box. It's at 61. Just kind of, you know, chipping away on that lead for him. You know, it was, it was 21 after the first game, and now it's up to 38. And just Another great first ball. Seems to just you know go with the motions. And uh just kinda let the game come to him. Just don't change anything, just keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Probably would have made the ten pin again if it was still standing. We're gonna get one. And we'll get the nine box. Nine box there. So Dave's at 70 through six. Josh Daly's at 52 through six with a 39 pin lead for Dave Barber. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll return in a few moments. All right, and we're back. We got Josh Daly coming up on lane 33. You know, Josh Daly needs to start getting something going here. Yeah, and he's not throwing a terrible first ball. So sure it's no. not a lot of luck. Nope, he's not. His second ball isn't as uh, accurate as you'd like to be also. As he breaks this up way, a nice one there. Leaves a three pin, nice piece of wood. Nothing fancy here. Yeah, don't give yourself time to think. Nope, just go up and throw. Beautiful. Not it for the first mark. Bre yeah, breaks through the second string. 62 and a fill here. So I'm seeing some, uh, some of his all-time favorite bowlers here. You know, obviously one of them, Tom Oster. That guy, incredible. He had a great run on TV shows. What do you have? How many in the world did he have on TV? Josh right there. And there's a big the 20 box to start. That's great after the break yeah. for Josh. Looking to get some bonus money coming right back up. Let's see if Dave can answer back here. Yeah, I mean, Oster had probably close to 100 television appearances, if oh. not over 100 television appearances. Oh. That guy's incredible. Another guy that's actually had some phenomenal matches against Olsta. The one and only Craig Holbrook. What a lefty he is. You know. And one of the nicest guys in the game. I mean, Olsta oh. too, but Craig was one of the nicest guys in the game. Dave with a great offer. Oh, he Even almost makes pin. it. Yeah, I didn't know Olsta that were great. I met him a couple times. Um, I didn't, don't know him as well, but obviously Craig's still around. Nice 10 there by Dave. Craig's still around, still being dominant as ever at I don't even know how old he is, 120? <laughs> I don't know. I think he's uh, in his he mid be. to late 50s, yeah, I think. Yeah, he might be 60. Huh? He might be. But, um, you know. I had the pleasure of bowling with him at Portsmouth earlier this year at the Pro Series, and the guy hasn't missed a beat. Well, rolls back. It might take it out. Nope, nope. That no, not like hard it, enough. Looks like it rolled up a hill going down. But yeah, Craig, what a phenomenal guy. I mean, and, a, and a, just a great team guy. Oh, he's awesome. 
He is awesome. Hall of Famer. Um, speaking of Hall of Famers, just like to give a. Dang, oh, what Barber. a shot! What a great shot. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you want to talk about accuracy. That, that shot isn't going anywhere else except right on that cap. That's exactly what That's an exceptionalist-ish shot right there. <laughs> exceptionalist-ish. <laughs> exceptionalish. Josh coming up looking to uh, get some bonus money here. Maybe get the first double strike of the and match. And we got one! Double strike of the match all day. There it is. Jeremy, you called it. I called it. Just call me Adam Schefter. <laughs> you heard it here first. And talk about two bombs from this kid. That's where this kid, when he's in there, oof. This throws a triple strike right here. There's a chance of $500. $500. Just on misses. Just oof. misses the front one. But a definitely, I mean, a good leave. Yeah, he's got some favorable wood in there. He does have $25 coming to him. A little bit of bonus money. Let's see if he can keep it going and counting. Just by. So that double strike changes a lot in this match. That chopped down a lot of pins for him. It's a good nine box. That double strike gets him to 126. Yeah, I mean, like, like you said, all it, all it takes is three boxes like that from him, and it's a, it's a new match. It sure is. Again, this is where... You know, you, you gotta answer back on those kinds of situations. Dings right back in. Gets a six fill on that spare. Now Josh had a 44 first half. And he ends up throwing... 82? 82. See that? I mathed. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't sure if that was correct or not, but I, I was going with you on that one. <laughs> Dave just... Uh, Cherry's up the front one. Looking to get a couple pins here. He gets, gets right. one. Eight box, 104. Hoping to get a mark here to get him to 120. Yep, he's looking to uh, not let that double strike cut too much out. Still looking to try, and if he if he can get to a 120 here, that'll put the keep the lead in the 20s. Oh, and a big strike. Oh, goes the dynamite. See, that's that's the difference between a lot of bowlers, knowing how to answer in those situations. You know, when someone throws a double, they can go back and miss the headpin a couple of times, but a guy like Dave, he's right back on his object. Looking to try and put something together here. Right back on the headpin. And another, another double! double. <laughs> Looking to answer. Barber with a does. double of his own. And he does. Couple of rockers right there. Trying to get the first first triple strike of uh, Cannibal the Cancer's history. You see the barber shop is in full effect right now. He's he's out here using his razor, <laughs> and it's back in there. Ah, oh, oh. for Phil, that's a great finish though by Dave Barber. Puts him at 128, and he actually comes back and takes the string. He's thinking some things in French right there. He's <laughs> That puts Dave Barber at 259 through 2 and Josh Daly 236 through 2. And uh, we'll be right back with the third string of the match here. All right, and we are back for game three of the third match today for Candleman for Cancer. Yeah, Dave, Dave coming back with a double of his own after Daly chopped into the lead with his own double. Yeah, he actually came back and, and won that second string right away from Josh. But you know what? 23 pins, that's that's not a lot. Not a lot at all. I've seen a lot of stuff happen in a couple boxes. A lot of stuff happening. Dave oh, again. Dave starts off with another what great, a great shot. shot. What a great shot by I'm, Dave Barber. I mean, look at the finish of the finals from the last, the last set of tapings with uh, Nick Norcross coming out with two marks. To win two thousand dollars after I believe Corey put a big strike on the end. Yeah, Davey right back. That might be ten. Yep, that's a great ball by Dave coming out early out of the He's gate, picking up right where he left off. I and mean, I mean, this is just showing. And you've said it a few times, just how much of a veteran he is. And and being twenty-three pin lead, 
That's exactly what your mindset is. Yeah. When you when you go up and you're you're the first bowler, you, you just want to try and put too much right away. Right. Just jump on it right away. Josh Daly comes back with a nice ball himself. Not a bad leave. Um, just a quick note here. The string is brought to you by Alley Chat. If you haven't, please subscribe to Alley Chat. And once the video is out, make sure you uh, hammer that like button there. Let's get let's get this uh, going for us. Tough nine box there for Josh. You know, and then when you're trailing and you go up and see the guy that's in front of you throw a couple marks, that just then that puts that ball a little more tighter in your hands yep. and it puts a little more pressure on yourself. Again, we have uh, the next Pro Series event is going to be March 5th. It'll be held at Ryan's Family U Amusements in Millis, Mass. Um, come by, come watch some great bowling. Uh, there's a couple of shifts, noon and two. Uh, get, get in touch with uh, Nick Zuffalato on Camp and Chat. There's um, plenty of spots open, I believe, for the noon two, um, and 2 p.m. shift. Um, there's a Cannabis Pro Series Facebook group. And, you know, yep, come Cannabis Chat. Got two opens for daily. Yeah, nine and a seven there. I mean, let's also not forget we have the Easter Classic is going to be run again this year. Ray's Easter Classic 20 string event. It's going to be on April 17th right here. Little Lanes in Nashua, New Davey Hampshire. Barber Dave Barber with another double. Oh. And, you know, somebody is really wants a shot at this $500. He really wants it. He, he's really going to give it a shot. Back on the head On pin. the head pin again. Heavy. Oh, that's just another two-pinner for him. I was about to say, I mean. But, yeah, uh, April 17th, Little Lanes, the... Ray's Easter Classic 20 Stringer. You don't want to miss out. Call, reserve your spot. Josh oh, oh, he gives it a run. Wow, the ball may have stopped that one. That may have stopped the wooden of going over there. Yeah, give give Lexi or Matt Susie a call here. 603-889-4884 uh, to sign up. Yep. Or check out Candlepin Chat right on Facebook. Dave looking to uh, get to that 400 series too. Well, he came a little short last time. I don't think he's gonna he's gonna put in the extra effort this yep. time. He, he knows he wants it. He knows it's there, and he, and he wants to he wants to get to that final match too. He also he did have another twenty five dollars in bonus money as Daly breaks up the two and two. See, that's that's what I was talking about the first round. He throws such a power ball like anyone else that could be a two and two, and then he breaks it up into a two pinner, and then he just and takes he picks up the two pinner. You know that, that shows a lot. Take advantage of a uh, break like that. That shows a lot for a young kid of his age. But he's coming down to that point of the match where it's every box is forcing himself to throw a mark. One big thing here for Josh Dealey is in the semifinal match of the U.S. Invitational. He ended up going a 478 in that semifinal match. That, 478. That, that, that's that's insanity to me. After you're already on your... And oh, a great Josh. shot. He puts two in a row together. Bit, two big shots right there for Josh. Trying to get some bonus money along with chopping down the lead. Um, but after 30 to almost 40 plus strings all week long to throw 478 yeah. in this final, this semifinal match. It's absolutely incredible. I'll throw it in any match. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Right back on the head pin. Light hit leaves the back row. It's the first time we've seen that so far. Yeah, yeah, but that's some help. That's He's got a little bit of help there. <laughs> Dave giving a little giggle to hearing someone say that'll go. <laughs> I, th I think we. <laughs> I think he's gonna want to be on top of this one. Try and snap that kind of double wood. Maybe where the caps meet, or just. Not do anything and take out the seven and the eight. Up, oh, that that wood's not rolling, so we have to have that removed. Uh, 
All right, and uh, got that Dave. piece of wood removed. Yep, Dave looking to get at least one here. Got and one. we get a nine box. Puts Dave at 85 through five. That's a that's a great first half to start for the third string. Yeah, yeah no, that's, if you're gonna keep the pressure on, that's how you do it. Dave coming up here in the sixth box. Right back, back on the head back pin. Back on the head pin, leaves a triangle. This guy. Two, four, and the five. Automatic on that first ball. He's can't stay away from the head pin. Yeah, it's one of those one of those things where when you're on Oh you, you get breaks like that. Your your body automatically knows what to do. You don't yep. even have to think. Yep, and then that could have easily just taken out that two pin and everything just you know, I don't even know what it did, but it did <laughs> it. I don't know. I can't hit that shot. It's a tough shot, but you know when you're bowling good and you're coming a little heavy like that, it's gonna splash for you. It's always, you know, you're bowling good. You get a few extra breaks, take advantage of them. Josh back on the head pin. Not, not too bad. A little bit of help. Yeah, not an ideal leave, but that wood will definitely help out. It needs to be on the front one. Great Had shot. a great shot. It had that's, to be nice and full. That's three in a row. It's twenty-five dollars and counting for Josh Dealey. See if he can stay on the headpin here and just you know, just keep throwing. Just he's keep up, throwing. He's up to fifty dollars in bonus money. Dave Barber is up to seventy-five dollars in bonus money for this for this match. Josh back on the headpin. Pounded Look the headpin. Look at Hopefully, this. and he does get the corner. And we go again, throwing that nice, hard, smooth rotation ball. You know, sets up a nice two pin with a piece. Don't want to be too fancy here. Oh, mm. that's a tough one. I see that happen more and more. And the nine box. Tough one. It's a tough one there. You really needed that one. We got a, a 42 pin lead for Dave Barber. Uh, 95 through 6, 76 through 6 for Josh Daly. And uh, Dave looking to really keep that pressure going. And Dave, Dave's just going to take his time. He's yeah. going to keep doing what he's doing. Yeah. No need to change anything. He's right back and on the head. Ben and throws 10. This guy's just in that zone. Uh, he just he's can't a machine. get out of it. He's an absolute machine. That's, this is the same zone that I saw him bowl. He was actually number two average, right behind Josh Daly at the Invitational Worlds. Back on the head pin, and watching him bowl all week long. There were so many guys that struggled all week, and he just didn't let nothing phase him, and had a great snap on his ball, and just by that one, that's why I had bonus money there, but that's Big Phil. And a good box. 10 box, 134 through 8. Yeah, I don't think we're too worried about that 400 no, total. No, he's, uh, he's well on his way. That puts him at 293 with two boxes to go. Uh, three, uh, 393, I'm sorry. Josh off the head pin, gets a break. Nine drop, piece of wood that's pretty far out. A nice shot right, by Josh. The right play, nice and high. Josh is going to still keep throwing, though. You never know. I mean, you stay on the head pin. You know, some strikes, doubles, triples. It's, as the, the great Kevin Garnett said, anything is possible. And great right first back. ball, eight drop. Piece of wood, wood rolling up. Ah, oh, and it turns to the right. Took a right at the lights. Just by. Just by. Just missed that one. He definitely needed that one. It's a 54 pin lead with two boxes to go over Dave Barber. If uh, if he throws at least one mark here, that looks like it could just about be over. That's going to force Dealey to throw a four-bagger. Back on the head pin. It just and does another not strike. stop. 
just does not stop. That groove that you get into is just incredible. Looking for his second double strike, third double strike of the match. Another, another great ball. Well, that wood came up and turned a little bit. That'll help out for a fill, maybe even make the shot. Who knows? Definitely gonna go for the fill though. It's gonna get the two. Yeah, go, That's go, go, fine. go for the count. Yep, not chasing anything. Yeah, he's chasing him. He's gonna put him over 160 this string. 163 for Dave Barber. An incredible, incredible string. 422 total, I believe. Well, that'll get him the hundred dollars for 400. It sure will. Nice extra money. 422. And that's uh, the match is over now. There's a daily throw to four bagger. They only put him at 163, so that would have tied him. Uh, there's Josh Daly throwing. Josh Daly with a struggle today. Couldn't get anything going early. He fell behind and he threw that double on the second string to try and chop off the lead, but Dave just answered right back. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, like, Josh didn't really, he, he didn't bowl that, no. that bad today. I mean, no, he read around 360, which averaging 120 is a really good score to have. But congratulations to Dave Barber on a great victory yeah, abso today. Yeah, absolutely. He's moving on. Josh Daly's going to be going home with $500, a little bit of bonus money as well. 422 to 364. And um, we'll be right back. We'll speak to the bowlers. We had another great match. Uh, Dave Barber keeping going. His his hot streak went 422, beating out Josh, who threw 364. I, I mean, you have three doubles in a match. It, 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 it's hard to it's hard to gain pins on that. It sure is. You know, you, every time someone goes to throw a mark and you try and answer back and trying to gain pins back, it's really tough. So let's bring Josh up here for a few minutes here. Josh. Yeah, tough start. He couldn't really get anything going, and then he just ran into a huge buzzsaw right there. Um, you know, every time he threw a mark, Dave was just answering back. I mean, how'd it feel to be under the lights, though? It felt different. I mean, it's like the second time doing this or something like this show, but the nerves did get me the first game. It started to break in a little bit, but when I go mark, mark, and he matches, it's kind of tough to make up a big lead. Yep, it is tough. I mean, you have to try and get comfortable. And for almost kind of the first time as an adult, you know, it's a little little intimidating at first. But once you finally settle in, it starts to get better. Um, today, you're going home with $500. Whoops, sorry. There you go. Oh, boy. $500 and bonus of $50. So it's a pretty good payday. I'm sure we're going to see you around. Yes, I'll see you soon. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Dave. We'll bring up the winner, Dave Barber. Dave, congratulations. Great, great bowling. Keeping up what you were doing in the first match. You know, Josh kind of made a comeback. He threw, goes spare double strike. I mean, that's got to put some of the pressure on you. You come back with a double of your own. Yeah, I mean, a bowler like Josh, it's like that with any guys that come up here. They, At any point in time, they can throw a big string, and he showed it right there. He come back uh, from a tough six boxes to throw a double. So put the pressure on me, but I was happy I was able to respond. Yeah, exactly. He ended up with two hundred dollars in bonus money, a uh, hundred dollars for for throwing the four hundred. I mean, great job. You got to bowl Jason Simino in the finals. He threw a seven hundred to get to the show. It's his home house. And Jason's a good, really good bowler too. So it's going to be another tough match. And you know, like always, just looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Keep it up, and we'll see you guys next week for the finals.